Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to some more MotoGP 19 career mode here today. And this is the Malaysian Grand Prix, the penultimate race of the season. If you guys missed the last episode of Philip Island, guys, for the Australian Grand Prix, then go watch it by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. An insane race, guys, because it was the first wet race I've had in absolutely ages. Ever since I restarted this series, they've all been dry races, but it was a wet race at Australia and it was a pretty mad one. So go check it out, guys. But today we are here at Malaysia and uh, two races to go. And uh, Mark Marquez still leads the way in the championship. We won the last race, but Marquez unfortunately did get second. And therefore, damage limitation was secured for him. And with two races to go, 14 points difference. If I win and Marquez finishes second in both races, that won't be enough. Now, for me personally, this is my last race in terms of winning. Um, Valencia is not a good track for me, and that is the last race of the season. Uh, Malaysia is going to be my last opportunity to pick up the win, so that's exactly what I'm going out to do here today, and I'm determined to pick up the win around this circuit because I'm not so confident around here. Historically, the AI are actually pretty quick around here, so we've got our work cut out. I am going to save up points because I do want to bring an upgrade here. As you can see, we're currently sitting on 100 points. I want to bring this final anti-wheelie upgrade for the next race in Valencia to give me the best possible possible chance of trying to get anything out of the race but for now we've got to focus on the task in hand and that is Malaysia and we're going to jump into things straight to practice and we're going to see if we can try and uh, shake down the bike make sure we're confident and we can try and crack on and have a decent race we can so let's do that right now and let's get things rolling for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Okay so as you can see it is absolutely monsooning it down here at Malaysia I'm going to now do the first of the practice programs the track affinity and uh, because it's raining of course we are going to have to go through each individual session to see if there is a dry FP2, FP3, or FP4, because if there is, that's going to dictate the grid, and we need to take part. We need to be, you know, doing a lap time in the dry conditions. So we're going to see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to focus on doing the track affinity. So uh, let's focus on that. Currently, completely missing my apex through turn one. It's going to take a minute to adapt to this circuit. Hopefully, we can adapt quite quickly. My pace has always been pretty good around here, so that doesn't concern me so much. Let's see where we are then at the end of our first time lap here in these conditions. Try not to overcommit too much into the hairpin. Easy does it. Make sure we stand the racing line for the exit of the corner. There we go. Now, can we beat the time threshold? I think we can. Quite comfortably, there we go, by a couple of seconds. So, lap one done. We need one more lap. Let's do that now. Dobry's currently now quickest. He's at a much quicker time. Three seconds quicker than mine, almost. I'm now starting to pick up the pace a little bit, but I'm currently stuck behind Tito Rabat. I'm going to try and get on the inside here of the Spaniard. Stand him up, and there we go. We get through. Trying to get the traction down there, and trying to keep the front end down. We are struggling a little bit, but this is a faster lap, and uh, we are well within the track affinity, so we should be able to hit the target. Easy does it there. We're back straight back down the inside at the final corner. We're going to return the favour though with a switch back of our own. Power down, second gear. There we go, up to full, nicely done. Up to the line, this should do it. And there we go, job done. Maximum points. Okay, so it seems like maybe since the last time I raced here, the AI have been patched because I remember I was really, really quick around here, like 1.5 seconds quicker at least, but they seem to be faster, at least in the wet conditions. Having said that, I am the only rider to have run a double medium, so we are going to run a double soft wet tyre now by doing the qualifying simulation test. So let's jump into that now and let's see what it is. So there we go, strap on a set of softs, and we're going to hit the track and see what the pace is on these tyres. So we're going to hit a bit of traffic in the form of Takanakagami on this lap. I'm actually on a really good lap, really happy with this so far. I am up after uh, two sectors. First and best in the first. And the fastest overall in the second. Quite a big really there. Can I go down the inside of Taka here? A little bit of a corner cut. I'm using a bit of the inside curve, but we do make the move. Are we still up? Yes, we are. Three turns up on Dobby's time. Easy on the brakes at the hairpin here. Don't want to overcommit. Currently on a bloody good lap. Fastest so far. Easy on the gas, using the curb to keep the front end down. Up to the line. Do we improve? Yes, we do. And we go fastest overall. So there we go. Then we go one tenth quicker than Dovi. And overall, I've got to say I'm quite happy with that one. Now we're going to go session by session. And if there is a dry session, then I'll obviously cut to it and you guys will see it. And we'll take part in it to set a lap good enough to get us into Q2. But if it doesn't, then the next thing you'll see is qualify. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're straight into Q2. There we go then, we're into Q2 straight away. There was no dry sessions all weekend and it's still raining. So it's looking like rain all the way through the weekend for us. So two wet races in a row. But yeah, overall, 
It's looking pretty good for us. F fastest of the weekend. That lap was good enough in FP1. And Dovi also, his lap was good enough for second place. So it seems like we do have pretty decent one lap pace around here. But it does take a lot of effort to get that one lap perfect. Because it's such a long lap around here. Over two minutes. Either way, very happy with practice. We're now going to move the Q2. Hopefully, we can try and make it yet again. Another pole position here in qualifying. Uh-oh. Uh, just about got to slow down. Lost a chunk of time though through there. That's not going to help. Right then, at the end of the first lap. Run that in really, really wide. Easy does it. Pick up the gas, there we go. Right after the line, do we go fastest? It's going to be close, but I think we should do it. There we go, 110. Sorry, 210.5. Well, that's still about 7 tenths off we, we could achieve in practice, so... There's still some time to shape off of that. And we don't have many extra sets. We've only got one spare rear tyre. So I've got to make this set count, really. Oh, my days. Quattro 2 minute 9.4. Fastest up of the weekend so far from the Frenchman. That's a benchmark and a half. But we're on a good lap here. This is going well. Currently Morbidelli, who's quickest. Let's see if we can... Beat that a little bit tidy this time for the final corner. Maybe a little bit too early on the brakes, but that's okay. A much tidier second lap at the final corner. Up to the line. Are we going to beat the lap? Yes, we do. No, we don't. We miss out by a tenth. I thought I had it. We just miss out. I'm going to try one more lap on these tyres. And then we're going to call it on these. And I'll try and do something with the U sets from practice. See if I can get a lap out of them. Having trouble there, I just can't seem to get the bike slowed down. I broke even earlier that time, but that's okay. We're still on a good lap here, three tenths up. Nah, a bit scruffy through there. We're still up though by the smallest of margins. This is pretty close to last lap, to be honest with you. It's pretty much identical now. We had a big advantage in Sector 2 to 3 tenths up, but we've kind of thrown it away a little bit. I've kind of broken a bit earlier there by accident, but I've released the brake mid-corner. If I can just pick up the throttle a little bit earlier this time. Let's see if this is enough up to the line. Is it going to do it? Yes, it is. A point two. New benchmark has been set. I think that's going to do it. I'll be happy with that. We've got about two minutes left. So you know what? I'm going to say that's enough. I'm gonna, I want to keep my last set of tyres that are fresh in case it's a wet race. So very, very good qualifying. I'm happy with that one. There we have it. Then the results are in. And it's an absolute shocker. Both Patronas Yamahas on the front row. Vinales fourth. Rossi down in seventh. But where is Mark Marquez? He's down in P11. So... A very mixed up grid for tomorrow's race. An absolute shocker. Dovi as well, nowhere to be seen. Where is Dovi? Let's have a little look. He's down in P12. So really, really surprising grid. But the, the Patronas Yamahas getting onto the front row. This could be massive for the Constructors' Championship. Either way, that is your grid for the race here at Malaysia. We're now going to move on to Sunday. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can try and win the race. And fingers crossed, Marquez doesn't get second. Let's jump into it and let's see how we get on. 
Here we are then on the grid for the race on Sunday and it's the only dry session of the weekend. So this is going to be interesting. It might catch me out. I'm going to have to readapt slightly to some dry riding style because the last race was wet at Australia and it's been a wet weekend all the way through so far. So I'm going to have to kind of get used to that again. But uh, we are going to make a couple of adjustments to the bike. First and foremost, we are going to tweak the traction control. We're going to move that back down to two because we're in the dry conditions. And also, tyres is going to be an interesting one. Malaysia is just a killer for tyres and I'm not quite sure what to go for I think I'm going to go medium hard I think I don't want to use a hard tyre but I don't think I've got a choice around here this this track just is really unforgiving so I'm going to go for it I'm, I, I'm tempted to go for a hard front as well to be honest with you because I just don't know what the track is doing I haven't had any dry running so I don't know what to expect for tyre wear but I'm going to take a risk I'm going to go for a medium front I think hard rear hopefully it pays off and the front doesn't completely fade but we're going to start first the target is to just pull away and try and open up a gap and then manage the race hopefully fingers crossed that's exactly what happens and let's hope marquez doesn't make too much progress either way let's get racing here at malaysia right here we go first gear selected five lines are on at malaysia and away we go pretty average start struggling to contain the wheelie but we're now up to speed Oh, that Ducati came right across me there. I had to get off the brake. On the inside we go, and uh, Morbidelli looks like he's held on to the lead. Miller up to second, and Quattararo third. We're up to, or oh, sorry, down to four, should I say. And then we've got uh, Badillo's Petrucci right behind us, just looking for a move. We are going to carry the speed around the outside, though, here. Nice double overtake on the outside. Now into turn four for the first time. That's nicely done. On the apex, Marquez trying to MP12. This is good news for us. I'm going to have to take a lap or two just to kind of readapt my riding style to the dry conditions. But Morbidelli in the lead so far. Fair play to him. Miller there looking for a move. On the inside, we're going to have to try and stay in front. Got to be brave on the brakes. There we go. That's nicely done. Nicely under control. Hard tire doesn't feel too bad, to be honest with you. I'm quite happy with that. I was expecting far worse. Just not quite sure where to break at the minute. Someone's going to go for it. And it's Miller again. Trying his luck on the inside. We're going to try and hang it still side by side with him. As we go into the next section. A little bit of contact there. Miller runs it a little bit wide. Trying to pick up the bike on the exit. But we get a big wheelie instead. Through the chicane. Carrying the speed. Oh, that was close. Almost contact. But we're going to have to yield and give Miller that position for now. That's okay, my own market is way down the order. Dobby's up to P4, that was a horrific exit for me there. Just couldn't get the front end down. This is what we need to upgrade in the last race to really help us out and give me the best chance. I'm running this very hot. Very hot indeed, I'm going to have to be careful. There's Dobby, he gets in front briefly, but we do get a nice exit just because of the way we took the final corner. Jack Miller hits the front, more Rodelli back down a second place. Here comes Dovi with the Ducati. He's going to try and blast past. Luckily for me, I'm good on the brake, so I can stay in front. Dovi's going to look all the way around the outside, but we're not going to allow that to happen. And oh my god, he's locked rear tyres with me there. That's not helped. That just destabilised me a bit there. Dovi makes the move seemingly at the minute. I'm off the pace. Can't quite match these guys. We are going to get a nice run down the hill and towards turn four. about a move there but Dobby closed the door quite nicely let's just take it easy you know there's still a long way to go in this race okay we're starting to find a little bit of rhythm now I'm hanging on to Dobby quite not quite easily and I'm fancying a move I had to get off the gas there otherwise it's going to hit the back of him but we are starting to put the pressure on Dobby here looking on the inside but no way through unfortunately for us just trying to short shift to make sure we don't have too much of a wheelie there but I'm starting to find the pace a little bit on these tyres. It's just about trying to find a move on these guys. This time not so hot into the final corner. We get it nicely slowed down. Marquez only P11 so far. He's struggling to make any major progress. On to lap number three. Miller sets the pace. 59.7. Oh, Dobby getting loose there. Running a little bit wide on the kerb. But I am starting to close in on him. And I do fancy a move. Just got to try and find the right place to do it. We all are bunching up though at the front. Miller hasn't really pulled away. I wonder if I can get on the inside of Dobby here. 
not quite. It just closes the door on us. Nice exit from us, but we do pick up a bit of a wheelie, unfortunately, again. Through here, I was good last time. Uh, down the inside. Having a look. A bit of contact, a bit of argy bargy there. Nothing we can really do. I was committing to that overtake. We're going to try and get the slipstream. What a difference when we get to the tow. I can just feel the bike just take off. Going in quite shallow. Had a look again. But Dobby hangs on. No need to do anything rash. Marquez is way down the order. But seeing the race the race win right there, you know, it's it's really tempting just to go flat out and really go for it. This is my chance now. I'm closer than I ever have been, really, and this is the best section for me. This is where I make up a lot of my time. Oh, we just got blocked off there. I'm going to have to, again, try somewhere else. But that is a good spot. That double right-hander. I have a big advantage over the AI, it seems. I wonder if I can get a move on Dobby, although it seems like Dobby might go for a move on Morbidelli, actually. Front tire, stay down. Come on, mate. I need you to work with me here. Through the chicane. Nicely done. Chicane the momentum. I was going to go for it, but Dobby's taking a bit more of a lower line this lap. I've got to try and get to that curb. You can see how much we lose in acceleration. Dobby takes P2 from Mobadelli. He's making a move. I want to try and stick with his rear tyre if I can, but it's now Ducati 1-2 here at Malaysia. We've got the other two M1s behind us, Vinales and Rossi right behind. But for the Constructors battle, the fact that Miller and Dobby are 1-2 and two is bad news. We need to close in. Mark is only P10, but we need to try and uh, get those Ducatis. This is a massive one for the constructors. Almost went down there. I'm really pushing. Dobby's going to move on now. He's putting the pressure on Miller quite a lot. I wonder if I could just get onto Morbidelli through here. Oh, Ray Ren's just squirming all over the place. Here we go. This is my chance. Looks like Mobile actually got a pretty damn clean exit. We are going to still commit to a move down the inside, releasing the front brake. Down the inside. There it is, textbook move. Mobile Daddy though, back underneath. We're going to just play the speed on the outside though. Stay in front, early apex, just to protect the inside line. And there we go, a nice move up to third place. This is a great scrap, this is multi-bike scrap for the win. Dovi and Miller. Oh my goodness, that was a massive massive moment just try to put the power on a bit too much there through that little chicane the doctor with the fastest lap the m1 still has pace which is good let's see if we can get a move i tend to lose a lot of time through here this these first two corners i seem to be struggling but then i gain a lot through sectors two and three but miller still hanging on we need to try and beat him it's really really important at this point i have to win the race because i can't rely on mob daily to get the move done I also need Dobby to pass Miller as well. This is my chance now if I can just keep it tidy through this section. I might get the run. I haven't been too good though, I've got to be honest. But the fact they're both side by side might give me an opportunity. If I'm late on the brakes. Which I am, I'm fantastic on the brakes through there. Dobby gets really loose on the exit, that might give me an opening. Going for it. Late one. Very last minute move, but I sent it in the end. Not much contact. Dobby tries to go on the outside, but we stand him up. And there we go, second place. Nice definitive move with a nice little block pass. We can now chase after Miller for the race win. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the pace. The hard tire on the rear is doing me a favor. This means my pace is lasting longer, which is exactly what I wanted. Oh, Quattro has gone down. Something's happened. He was battling with Marquez. Last lap of the race, though. Here we go. Rossi's up to P4. He's got past Morbidelli. 
We're coming in very hot into turn one. I had to get off the brake. Otherwise, we would have gone down there. And I'm still pushing the limits. But I want this win. Rossi up to third. That's very good for us. That's exactly what we need. Here comes the move. We're cooking it up nicely. Bringing it up to the boil. Just carrying the speed nicely through these long rights and lefts. We're now going to go into the double right. Last bit of rear braking. Third gear on the power. Miller does get away quite well as we go to the hairpin. I'm going to have a look. Late move down the inside. Miller hangs on. I'm going to switch back underneath. Second gear. Oh, it's close. Miller's trying to go on the outside, but there's no way through. And we take the lead with just a few corners to go. Can we hang on to this? Can we stay in front? We're not quite home and dry just yet. I'm a little bit wide through here. That might invite pressure. Nicely done, though. We get to the apex. Rossi takes second place at the end. He gets past Miller as well, making it a 1-2. And that would secure the constructors for us. I'm pretty sure. Here we go, though. Miller gets him back. But we have built up a nice gap in that meantime. Into the final corner. No need to overdo it. Slow and steady. But here we go. We are going to win at Malaysia. And it's a massive win because Marquez is nowhere to be seen. And that blows the championship wide open. Get in. What a race. There we have the final results and it is indeed confirmed we pick up the win ahead of Miller and Valentino Rossi gets third place in the end. Dovi only managed fourth. Morbidelli P5. Good result on the factory. Oh sorry on the satellite machine and Vinales P6. So good points for y Yamaha as a whole today. A bit of a shame that Quattro did crash right at the end but Petrucci P7. Rins 8th. Crunchlow 9th. Mir 10th. Mark Marquez only P11. That has blown things wide open for the World Riders Championship because we take the lead going into the final race and we have six points on Marquez going into Valencia which is not my best track so we need that buffer to win. Valentino Rossi still has a mathematical chance to win. Dovi Celso is now out of the running for the Riders Championship so it's a three-way scrap. Really though it's a two-way scrap between myself and Mar Marquez for the World Riders Championship this season and in terms of the team championship with that we secure the constructors and uh, Monster Energy Yamaha myself Vinales and Valentino Rossi, we pick up maximum points, 480, and Ducati can no longer overturn the deficit. So that is good news for us. So one of our championships has been secured here today. And in terms of the constructors, we actually are going to overtake Honda, but we're still 10 points behind Ducati. Jack Miller saving, you know, Pramac there. If Valentino had just taken second place, it would have been a couple less points, you know, for the Ducati team. But either way, it is what it is. And uh, we move on to the last race at Valencia. Who will win the Constructors? Who will win the Riders Championship? We'll find out in the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for this race here today at Malaysia. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 and MotoGP content. Also, check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. And also, turn on notifications, guys, to not miss out on any future content from me. And yeah, guys, that is it for the race here today. And I'll see you in the next one for the finale at Valencia. But until then, let's goodbye from me.